All right, welcome to Encore, everybody. This is Twisted here, here joining you for the first time in like a year. Welcome to Encore. We are currently Sinai Fang Brownie County, and uh, we, it looks like uh, Fang's up one. 
Um, we got Falcon versus Palutena matchup. Pretty easy. All right. Okay. Looks like he wished the grab. Hey, there's the back row putting him off stage. Falcon with the linear recovery. Palutena in there, edge guarding him. Bringing him back. Nice. Pick up there. Just throwing out the Nairs. Here, he's using explosive flame to try to catch him. Dash attack just try to break out. Okay, back throw is going to kill. There we go. Oh, nice use of the pummel to get him to that kill percent. And Falcon getting buffed recently in the most recent patch. Patch having a little better combo potential. Okay, nice up B there. Yeah, using that to break his shield. To break his guard and just go through. Not breaking the shield. Okay. Hey, nice job getting him off stage, taking advantage of that linear Falcon recovery. Okay, we got the gentleman. Okay, we got up airs. Oh, trying to wait and the SD. Oh, that's so unfortunate for Brownie. All right, Fang is just in control right now. Of the pummel. There's the up tilt. Oh, using Nairs. Nair, fair, Nair. Oh, great job baiting out the air dodge there. There's the back air, toying to pick it there, and he misses the edge guard opportunity. And, and there's the forward smash going to take the first game. I mean, the second game, the first set. Correction. First set. Very nice. Stuff. All right, where's uh? All right, I'm going to get Salty Fun with me today. Whenever he decides to come through. All right. Okay. Speaking of, I'm actually going to go get myself some water. All right, guys, I am back. Rafi should be joining, Salty Fun should be joining me in a few minutes. I keep calling him by his actual name. Uh, and we got username versus that kid's. Uh, that kid's out of frame. There. forward. Alright. He's got some names being inputted. Hmm. Controller issues here. Sinking. Uh, we could just... You know, you could just use a um, pro controller adapter to... You could just use like a, a cord. Just stick it that way. Alright. Okay. PSA for all you Smash players out there, okay? PSA for whenever you go to a tournament. Disconnect your pro controllers when you're done with the set. 
disconnect your Pro Controllers when you're done with the set. Okay, you see this phone? See this phone here? See this? You can sync your Pro, you can sync your Pro Controller to this phone. Okay, you go to the settings. Go into the settings here. Here. You go to connections. Go to Bluetooth. You turn on the Bluetooth. Press the sync button on your controller. All that nonsense. And you get it in there. There. And you are good. Good. You will not interfere with current sets. And speaking of sets, we got a set here with Kirby versus Lucina. Very nice. We got usernames Lucina versus that kid's Kirby. Kirby. Now, Lucina's a very common character in this game, ever since Marth, uh, now that Marth isn't as good, but Lucina is now amazing. And Yoshi, uh, I mean, Yoshi, Kirby, I'm not too familiar with in this meta. You don't really see him all that often. A lot of, like, the prominent Kirby players from Smash 4 seem to drop him. But let's see how he manages to do this here. Okay, air dodging towards the ground to get the to get the tech there. Very nice. Okay. It's kind of slowing out the hitbox there. Misses the edge guard, but it's fine. Ooh, bad direction on the side B there. I mean the neutral B there. Okay, Dolphin Slash not quite gonna kill yet. Oh, very nice use of the edge guard there. There. Now PSA to now, funny thing is, Kirby doesn't actually snap to ledge. Ledge. So, if... So, with a character with counter, you can actually stand right by the stage and counter. I hope you didn't hear me though. Okay! That works out. But yeah, characters with counters can just stand by the stage and just kind of... And just kind of bully him a little bit. He wants to snap to ledge. Little offstage shenanigans there. Oh, goes for the B reverse neutral beam though. But then she's gonna side B out. Okay, there's a back air going to take it a second stock, and he's going very good. But still has all three of his stocks, and he's on his, and his opponent's on his last stock. Good, good dancing blade there, and down air to get a good solid 25, 29% damage. And and now he takes his first stock. Let's see what we can do here. Looks like he's camping towards the ledge, trying to get... Maybe trying to get an early game opportunity. Ooh, he went for it. Not quite gonna do it, though. But if he, if he wanted to kill him, he would have to sacrifice his own spot. And that would not have worked out there. He's two for two on that. Oh, Nair not safe on that. Oh, he got footstool and the down air. Oh, that was nice. That was great stuff to you. That was very good use of edge guarding there by uh, you by username. Oh man. And we're going to that Meta Knight there. Now Meta Knight is a character you see a lot more often than you do Kirby. Kirby, mainly because he still has some decent combo potential, no, not quite to the ridiculous levels that he was at Smash 4, but he still has some stuff. Okay, great use of the up air there to juggle. Men Knight with those quick moves. That he's always had even since Brawl. Okay, there's a down it down throw. Not quite getting a follow up there, but it's fine. 
Ooh, nice parry on the shield breaker. Very nice. That could have been very dangerous if you missed that. Oh, there's the teleport. Not quite going to kill it yet, though. Oh, adjusting. That kid adjusting very well against uh, you, man. Oh, the drag down. Not quite getting the... The wait, wake up though. Forward tilt, not quite gonna do it. There's the forward air off stage, going to take the first stock. Uh, giving a nice solid stock loop. Okay, opting to just recover with drill there. Alright, very nice. Ice misses the forward smash ledge getup. Went for the parry yet again, but didn't quite get it that time. Oh, down smash. He waited just a tiny bit too long there. Hey. Oh, landing onto the platform there. Very interesting. Great use of the tornado there, just to catch him with that burst option. And... Alright, they're kind of feeling each other out in neutral. Med Knight taking good advantage of his lead. Med Knight taking good advantage of his lead. Salty from the food in the background there. Not joining me. A coward he is. Anyways. Okay. It's kind of waiting near the ledge. You see, in this game, edge guarding is a lot more present prevalent than it was in Smash 4. Just because recoveries are just a bit more linear this time around. So. And sometimes just waiting near the ledge to threaten is a good option as well. There's the Ford, the side B there, actually getting the kill. Okay, solid 20%. Great parry there. There now, uh, the user's name's got to really find a way to throw up, close out the stock. Right now. This is down smash. Yeah. Oh, kind of just throwing out some aerials there recklessly, and kind of got it hit. Great use of the tornado there, just threatening an approach, but using that to retreat. He just having a hitbox out there is still useful. Oh, he went for a teleport? Alright. I don't know what that was, but was that a taunt? I'm not sure what that was. Dolphin Slash using it as a combo breaker. I'm trying to get that. I'm trying to close it out. He's just he's just threatening options up there. Here, but he manages to get back to the ground safely, and now he's got to do the same with that Meta Knight. It's scaring him. Okay, he's back to the ground. Touch tag. He's got the ledge pressure. How's he going to get back up? He's got back safely just with a normal roll. Oh, up air, not quite gonna do it yet though. 
Oh, but I'm pretty sure the next one will do it. Oh, misses the Dolphin Slash trying to get it. Oh, there's the teleport going to even the set up. Very nice. You've much yet to learn. You've much yet to learn. I like this voice. All right. Do we happen to have a clip of what happened there? Do we happen to have a clip of what happened back there? Ah, rest in peace. Yeah, but did you manage to see... Did you actually see what happened with that, um... Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, and what are we going to get this time? I'm, we are just getting a ton of characters out from that kid. Okay, we're just getting Meta Knight again. Very nice. And are we going with the Lucina? Yeah, it looks like we are. Or right, some people just hover just to make sure their opponent doesn't press start on them. But he looks very comfortable on that Lucina. There he is, yeah. Now, Sage opting to go to Yoshi's there just to take a little more advantage of that giant hitbox he's got. Kind of waiting him out. Waiting at the ledge there, very nice. Oh, there's a footstool there. there. You can tech those now. Now, that, I looked away for a second, but a smash attack came out and you did kill him. I think it was down smash. Uh, shield pressure. Kind of baiting them out in there. Okay. Oh. Had the right idea, just didn't, have, just didn't get the right direction. Oh, the empty jump. Oh, the nair into the down tilts there for the pressure. Very sneaky, very dirty. That high low mix up from traditional fighters. Okay, this is the empty teleport. Ooh, the drill, not quite tossing up that much. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess he just fastball that. <laughs> Missed him, but unfortunate. Let's see if uh, that kid can bring it back up. Oh, nice parry there. Second time we've seen it this time. Yeah. Pressure out there. Fair pressure. Okay. 
that. Forward there, forward smash. Ooh, there's the, there's the forward air going to take it out, and giving this game to username. All right, it looks like I have to play, but I will be passing off the mic to Salty Fun. Hey guys, Salty Fun now with you, and I'm really excited for this next game. It's going to be Noku versus Wonton Warrior. Now, what? Excuse me, Wonton Warrior has not really made it to Encore so consistently in general, especially for the first few months of Ultimate. Wasn't really able to make it at the tournaments, which is a real shame because he was such a staple in Smash 4. He was like quintessential. Tight be little Mac main. When I mean that, I mean he does the silly stuff. And now he is not playing Little Mac because Little Mac is kind of unplayable. But he's rocking the link and he actually does some pretty tight B things. He is not sort of your classical patient link that's gonna throw projectiles from across the stage and never do anything. He's looking at me, he's making eye contact with me, but I'm gonna keep describing his play style. Uh, he can he kind of goes for crazy things sometimes. Uh, and there's a lot of volatility there, both for the positive and the negative. He's up against Noku, who is honestly one of the... He's a really consistent player. He's just been getting much, much more consistent over the years. Rocking the Noya tag. Because whenever he makes Noku, people delete it. That's why he had to start making tags that weren't his name. Anyway, we have Pokemon Trainer versus Link. Now, I think the Squirtle at the beginning is going to be really big. Squirtle in general does pretty well against projectile characters. He's so small, he's so fast. Once he gets in, especially if the character doesn't have an easy way to, you know, get the little turtle off of him, he can do so much damage. But Squirtle can only stay in the game for so long, usually. Eventually, the state of the game changes, and Link now at 72%. Noku's looking to possibly end this. We're seeing a bees reading the jump right there. Oh, is he alive? He's not alive. No. I think he tried to go for the, uh, maybe he was expecting something that Noku can end up going out. Yeah, that up B out of shield. So I was testing it. That up B out of shield hits on both sides. It's super strong. And it comes out as fast as, like, most shield grabs, if not just faster. Now we're seeing Wonton. I like the way he's playing here. He's not playing to, you know, oh, I need to get this stock now. I'm so close. He's at 144. Anything will kill. He's not really taking that approach. Instead, he's like, what's more important is not getting hit. Oh, and he does that a lot. Wonton off stage is terrifying. There's a thing that I'm not sure whether he's going to try and go for it, but if you reverse up these towards the stage, especially on a stage like Battlefield, the like reverse part of the sword going up will hit the opponent through the ledge, like in a wolf would, but then it pulls them over to the front, and Noku trying to go for the uh, forward smash, which he always goes for. So many, I mean, in his defense, everyone gets hit by it. Like, I've been sort of forward smash that ledge. He's surprisingly just, I don't know. To me, oh, this could be big. Yeah, just out of range of that. And I love the fall behind forward smash. This is actually big. 79% on Noku. Link has many, I, right now, not many ways, but he has ways that he could actually 
end him. Oh, especially now Ivysaur off stage. I don't know if he wanted to do that with the boomerang. Oh! <gasps> he wanted to up -bee. He wanted to up -bee, but he got this right me. That's so sad. I'm, I'm crying on the inside. Oh. Anyway, he's not really letting it phase him too much. Although... Like, even if you're able to shake something off like that, you know, immediately after it happens, if the game starts going not in your favor, it's easy to then have, like, this delayed reaction of, oh my god, if only I got the move back then, I wouldn't have to be dealing with this Ivysaur at 151%, but, hey, the Ivysaur at 151 it's not too hard for him to deal with. Oh. One thing I say, so Noku used to be a Diddy Kong back in Smash 4, which means he has a decent amount of experience with item control. That's what I was talking about with the reverse of B. He can also do that at kill percents. Uh, and I mean, damage is damage, but... <gasps> this could be really big. Uh, and at this point... Oh, the up air not connecting! Yeah, Wonton needs to make, like, every hit he gets really go the distance. <gasps> Up there in the up is gonna connect, reading the jump back on stage. And we see uh, Green celebrating there with a bit of a victory twirl. Oh, so yeah, Wonton got very close that game. And I should say that I believe on paper, Wonton is, would be the, he's the underdog. He's also the underdog because the man used to play Wemo back in Smash 4. And I know that this is like, we are a long ways away from Smash 4, but you that gives you legacy, man. You play Wiimote, you play you play Little Mac with a Wiimote, that you carry that for at least a decade, man. One, go. Yeah, alright, we're getting into game two now. Oh geez. 72% already rocked up onto oh, again, yeah, this is a completely different game. Holy junk. Goku hasn't been able to get a single hit in. Uh, then again, I think he hasn't gotten back to neutral since the game started 30 seconds ago. And I, this is what I was saying before about he needs to take super advantage of each hit. This is what we're seeing a little bit more of now. Goes for the forward smash. But maybe that was a bit hasty. Now he's the one being put on the side 70%. And Ivysaur has kill power, man. Noku. So if you notice, Noku has stopped going for that forward smash on ledge. Oh, and there it is. People just get hit by that. It's put the in people's defense. Uh, Wonton Warrior actually has a lot of ways that he can deliver the bomb to the opponent when they're off stage. For instance, he can go by falling there, and it goes at this very sharp, quick angle. He can throw it out there normally, and if you're not prepared for it, I love that. I'm sorry, I love Charizard upbeat. The move just makes me happy inside, and every time I see it land, I think that's dead. Oh, wow, he DI'd that way, and he's still... He's fine! He's not fine. He's gonna be fine. Yeah, there we go. Link is impossible to edge guard. <laughs> At higher percents when he does the bomb recovery, it's like, how do you how do you intercept the guy? Oh, jeez. Oh, that's gonna be big damage. I love the patience from Wonton. Knowing that he was behind him, he couldn't just have a... Oh, is that gonna be it? Not quite, but 100%. And at this point, Noku is really forced to stay Charizard. If he switches to Squirtle right now, he could just die, and then he's down by two stocks. But finally, a bit of an overextension. Forward Smash gets punished with the up. Why? <sighs> That's the. Uh... I, I still think that it's like a Bayo classic of doing something silly with. Oh, man. Yeah, Noku's starting to groove in his seats, clearly not happy with how those last two stocks have gone. And Wonton is looking really good. Great job with that grab release. Actually connecting into all of this damage. 69 delp. This is... Oh, Noku. So I was saying that well, Noku is a very consistent player. <laughs> but I'd say, like, macro, he's very consistent. With in-games, he does sort of struggle from being tilted. Um, and usually is pretty good at shaking it off you know, from game to game. But when he's stuck inside of the one game, is he dead? <gasps> he's Omega dead. Oh, man. No Kuma actually still win this. He absolutely can still win this. Oh, that was actually great from him. Realizing the mistake he made the first time around. Instead, it goes for the air dodge. <gasps> no. Oh, my God. Is this it? 
A B? Is that gonna kill? You gotta be kidding me! Wow, what an amazing last stock from Noku! I was, I, I was maybe like, you know, stretching a little bit when I said, oh, Noku could win this. But yeah, he definitely could. Because he did. Alright. That was actually a really great match. I, it's unfortunate that Wonton Warrior is going to be knocked into losers this early. And honestly, I would have liked to have seen a game three between them. But you just you can't argue with the results. Noku just really played well. Kept his head in the game. I thought he was done. Like, if you looked at his face, he was like... That's my Noku impression, by the way. Flip it. Um, but he really pulled it out. And now we're going to be uh, moving into the very next game. This is going to be Noku versus... I, that is not the next game. That is a game we just played. I am like, you know, you know those like, you ever seen Anchorman? You know how, you know how there's uh, there's the scene where there's the teleprompter and at the end he's just like, they stick the thing and he's like, go yourself, San Diego. And like, doesn't even realize anything happened. I, I have a little bit of that in me. I just saw the names in front of me and didn't even think. No, we're going to have TA Mile versus LGBTQ plus chess. It of course is LGBTQ month. So he has the month advantage whatever <laughs> uh, yeah but we're waiting for mile to oh no miles there <laughs> he was just dipping forward yeah so but history between these two players chess i mean actually i don't know the history between the two of them but individually so chess actually hails from melee he is one of those players that was a staunch melee player, and he made the transition to ultimate. He's been doing very well. I has he gotten on the, yeah, I think he got on the PR for Encore, just barely missed it. I think he maybe just barely missed it, but he has been doing really consistently, getting top eight here and there all over the place. So it's really cool, you know, to see melee players do that sort of thing. Mile actually used to be a Yoshi main deck in Smash 4, and is still made, plays Yoshi. Uh, but for this matchup, he's probably not doing that. Yoshi Palu is its pretty ugly. Um, whereas this character, I mean, can't deny how well he's doing right now. 109% on Palutena. Oh, and he's inked. So, inking is just like, the, the, the character of course does more damage. But, the fact that that inkling can struggle to kill means that if you are landing those jabs, if you are having your opponent inked very consistently, then you're more likely to be able to actually finish them off. Forward throw is going to send him nowhere. Oh, I love that little cute little just splatter for a second. Get a little bit of a goof on him. Oh, I down tilt. I'm not sure whether that was the optimal punish, but... All right, there's the up smash catching the roll. You know, one thing that, and this is something that I really, like, Mile is not bread and butter. If you notice, he has thrown out no side beats. Uh, he has not tried to use the inkling roller at all. Uh, that's because he, I, I think the big reason, Chess is a player that's very good around playing specific, like playing around specific options. And if he starts to get a little bit too hungry and just go for side beat, Palutena definitely has ways to punish or at least make his life more difficult if he's able to just react and deal with it. Um, yeah. Wow. And a lot of players it. nowadays have also caught on. Oh, I had to play already. Oh, wow. I already had to play. I was going to compensate for two seconds. Well, he did compensate for two seconds. As it stands, though, that this actually got turned around on Maya really quick. He was doing so well, but Palutena does not struggle to kill the same way that Inkling does. I mean, Inkling, of course, doesn't can curl, kill early. Is a she, by the way. <laughs> it's, Inkling is always a she. Um, but Palutena can just end things. It's like her up air, her, all of her moves, just they're, she's so reliable at finishing off stocks. So, just empty hop forward smash, reading the jump. That was such a gutsy call out. He definitely could have died for something like that, but it pays off beautifully for Mile. He now has this lead, and the fact that he has this lead means that he can then start playing a bit more of a poke game, perhaps. He's not a particularly pokey player. He really likes getting in and then, you know, being able to... Like, his advantage stage is great. I mean, he was a Yoshi. Oh, man. But maybe he's getting a little bit too much. Wow, okay. 
okay, these moves are actually connecting, but look at this back air. So you're gonna lose to ba you're gonna lose to uh, Palu back air eventually. The fact that that move is a shield that it beats out every other hitbox imaginable. I mean, yeah, Inkling back air is great. One of the I'd say one, probably one of the best aerials in the game. I don't necessarily think that's an overextension on my part. Uh, but Palu back air is just so just, it's it's like the perfect answer. Oh, speaking of Palu back air, almost connecting into an explosive flame, but not quite. Oh man, these guys have been trading back and forth. <gasps> That's the roller I was talking about. It ends up whipping in that he gets punished. I was saying how I kind of, I think Chess can deal with that option pretty well. Oh, but a beautiful parry. Those characters that like to throw out those late aerials, Palu is definitely one of those. And if you're able to get the timing down, those moves that are supposed to be so safe, they are no longer. 111% on Mile. He's back to the corner, gets the roller. We finish it off. He gets the forward smash. That is game one going to Mile. That was actually the <laughs> a real back and forth slugfest. And you can also see the two players, they're sort of different ideologies in how they approach the game and neutral. Uh, Mile is much more focused on like, I'm going to throw out like moves like pressure. I'm going to stay on you. I'm going to like basically put a move here and expect like, you know, just because if you do go there, you get hit. You know, and then once the opponent is in shield, once he gets that tiny advantage, he really pushes it. Whereas Chess, you see that he's a lot more spacing focused. And I think that a lot of that comes from, comes from melee. He actually goes the Yoshi. Interesting. He won last game, but I guess he wasn't super confident in that win. And he's like, ah, despite how bad this matchup can be, <laughs> I am just going to go with it. Uh, and I I know that Chess can struggle against Yoshi. Um, you know, the character is weird. Especially, in, in this game, he doesn't play like melee Yoshi, really. So even if you have Yoshi experience from melee, it doesn't help that much. Oh, he's really trying to look for these forward tilts, but uh, yeah, he's looking. Okay, so this is one of the problems with Yoshi is what to do when your opponent starts just shielding your moves. Um, well, obviously, you know Yoshi does have his egg lay. He does have his grab. In fact, <laughs> empty land grab is a surprisingly good option. All right, yeah, there, there's the. Uh, wow, so much damage. Oh, but the up air doesn't actually hit. Up air is weird. I'm pretty sure that the hitbox for it is bigger behind him than in front of him. It's the same deal with up tilt. Up tilt, definitely that's the case. For some reason, Yoshi up tilt is like 80% behind him. And it doesn't even line up with the animation. Uh, and it's a little bit the same with up air. Oh my god! Beautiful waiting, you can see Chess is upset about that. He did not want, to, obviously, he didn't want that option coming out. And it was great, sort of like a prediction, like knowing the player that he would be trying to get out as quickly as possible. If you notice that Yoshi is just holding shield there, take your time. There is no harm in this. Oh, he's fine. Okay, it was close to not being fine, though. <laughs> All right, finally. That was. Smile throughout like three forward tilts and that neutral air, the very last hit did him in. Oh, these low percents though are so difficult for Yoshi. Wow, great job using the down B actually beating out the up air. I'm not. I guess the timing just worked out for Mile right there. Okay. Oh, these counters are not. I mean, okay. Palu counter is fine, but the fact that Yoshi is so much. His aerial mobility is so good and that he cannot. <laughs> You know, basically, a attack from a lot of different angles. Oh, oh, went for a big old read there. I don't even know if that up smash would have killed. Mile again going for that, and this time reading through it. That jump out is actually great for Yoshi because his double jump armor just means that explosive flame, like, he gets a few hits in even if he does connect. But it doesn't really do that much. That was so close to being his death. Oh my god, the egg barely beating out the Palu back air. Back air would have hit him, he would have had no jump. That probably would have been Sayonara. Oh my... <laughs> oh, and the taunts. 
<laughs> I don't even know how to describe this game state, man. Yeah, there it is. Finally, the forward tilt. This is the re- So, I said before that this map is not great for Yoshi. And, okay, so, Miles doesn't even it up, but you can see why certain things are difficult. The edge guarding is pretty straightforward, very easy for Palu, you know. Lots of ways to deal with Yoshi's eggs. So the neutral, the neutral air beats out Yoshi's eggs. And if you're beating Yoshi's options like eggs and neutral, then you're already in a pretty good position. Especially if you also have disjoints, which Palu definitely does. Okay, reads the air dodge, trying to fall through. Wow, actually reading his movement and gets the up air, taking the stock in the blast zone. Wow. That, I said before I was surprised that Yoshi down air, down B beat out the up air, and that's why. That's what the that's the up air that I know. That's the interaction I'm familiar with. Oh hey. So we do have a game three, and I'm curious whether Mile is going to stay Yoshi or switch back. Oh, could have been stage. It could have been that um, if he goes back to Inkling, then I have a feeling that it was you know when Yoshi was counterpicked. Oh, I think Inkling's coming back. I do think this is. I still think this is an Inkling stage. Yeah. Now game one, of course, super close, but. Milo was able to take it. Game two, he switched characters. But that does mean that now Milo has had two games of this, you know, playing against this Palutena to learn habits, to sort of adapt to things. Uh, whereas, you know, in a way, uh, Chess has only had one game against the Ink. That being said, remember that last game? There were like certain real call outs. Like the fact that he was jumping in front of him for like. Three million years, and you know there was no option thrown out by Chess. Uh, you know, you could say that oh, that was Mile being confident he was going to do anything, but he ended up getting hit at the end of all of that. So maybe he started to figure out how, like you know Chess's habits, but wasn't actually able to exploit them. In which case, what good is it, man? But I mean, if, as Inkling, if your opponent is shielding, there are definitely things you can do. Inkling has a function grab, so you know that makes shielding immediately less of a of a of, a, of just a catch all option. Wow! All right, getting the forward smash. Just a really good job knowing how much frames uh, he had to punish that down smash. It is extremely laggy from Palu. Uh, it maybe questionable why he just threw it out, but then again, like, the punish was not that severe. Um, you know, it's in that sort of, a little bit of an awkward fit stage, where, uh, like, Chess can afford to make a duel with, like, you know, big, sort of, like, just crazy smash attack reads without losing his stock. <laughs> but then again, it feels like ever since that, the momentum has been back in, uh, Mayo's favor. Is he dead? Oh, yeah, so Chess, I say, Ch Chess can be a very emotional play, uh, but he also came from Melee, which means he's very used to SD. So I don't know, I, I don't think that when he SDs that affects him so much, I, I, I'm actually not sure, I should ask him about it. Oh jeez, oh that's damn it. Oh that's a big old sploosh. 91, when did it become 91? Jeez. Okay, but let's not forget the kind of damage that Palu can rack out. And it hits so also, Palutena is a character that like, with rage, it feels like your combos just work better. You know? Ah, uh, great job there. Connecting the up through to up air. Oh, and the taunt! The callback from game two! Oh, this might be taunt to get bodied though. Oh no. Taunting and then getting bodied is such a rookie mistake. Never mind, he's go he got the 7%, he's already golden. Oh, okay, now he's actually done pretty well. 32, 43, he's just, you know, hit after hit, but he's extending this lead just by maybe what is necessary. All right, let's see if it was necessary. 43% is what separates them. Oh, man. Oh, he doesn't get the actual grab. That's the, so actually this is a thing that we're seeing when he's playing uh, Inkling, he's getting parries relatively consistently against 
Uh, what? He's way up high and he... Oh, he's so inked. That's so scary when you're this inked because of just, you know, back air is that much more threatening. Oh, man. This is just like game one. The percents are so even. He's forced to air dodge. He gets hit again, but neither one of those down tilts can lead into an actual kill. But nonetheless, he's at 107%. <gasps> Goes for a super hard read there. The forward air. The, sorry, the neutral air, rather. But he's up stage, and then he pops off with the let's go. Actually taking the set 2-1. Good stuff to Chessis. He's going to be moving on a winner's bracket. All right, so our eye in the sky tells us that next we are having salad dressing versus Kevin. And by eye in the sky, I mean the screen in front of both of us. But that's like going to be pretty neat. So salad dressing, if you don't know, last week, this is a guy who he has been placing very consistently. He is one of those guys that like between, you know, Smash 4 and Ultimate, he leveled up just like a ridiculous amount. Part of that might have been that Mega Man, you know, became more of a, like a, a neat fit. I didn't see last week. He got, I was I was building up to that. He got second place last week at a tournament that had Ray, Ralphie, Jen, and Zaxel, I believe. He beat Jen? He beat Jen in winners. That's silly. Let's see if, they, if he can make repeat on this. Wait, what? Uh, I don't think this is the match we're gonna have. Are these guys just like commandeering the stream setup? You can't do that, that's illegal. Somebody should tell them, somebody should warn them. Pokemon Trainer! All right. It seems that I am now being called once more into the breach. Three, two, eh, until they actually get me, I'm just gonna commentate. So, I guess there was a lie being told because instead of that match, we're gonna be having Topian Ray versus Noku. Both these guys here all the time, both of them do very well at these events. But Ray just has this like consistent edge. Ray is just such a good player. He's been doing so, so well. You know, since the game started, he's been, you know, always one of those guys I can just win an encore. Uh, Noku has one encores as well, and uh, maybe that's what he's gonna do tonight. Excuse me? Empty land for. Why are people just. <laughs> it has been 40 seconds! I was just zero to death with 0%. Oh man, I can't wait for Noku to still lose this set. <laughs> Actually, I, I, I don't know the record between these two. Noku, I, 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 we all make fun of Noku because it's easy, I guess. Uh, but he is absolutely playing fantastic right now. I mean, yeah, that second stock was a little bit silly. But the first stock, you just can't deny how good that was. And it's like this game might end in a three stock. Wow, actually, able to trap. Frame trap him and still get it down air. Oh man, and at this point I believe that he's already at up air percent. Jars are going in. Oh, is that it? Alright, no gonna Oh, that is it. Yep, DI the wrong way. For those of you who don't know, you should always DI for the faster throw. In that case, you want to just DI in because forward throw is faster. And then as soon as you see Charizard go up into the sky. Then you have like seven seconds to react and you know, yeah. All right. I actually gotta hop off now. Uh, unfortunately, I'm gonna miss the rest of this set, even though it's probably gonna be like two minutes in total. All right, we are live here. Me and Amori. Yep, that's Amori. Hell yeah. Right. Chess and Amori hanging out. Um, yeah. Noku with a uh, with a game one right here. Like to see it. Yeah. Uh, who's usually winning these? 
Uh, you know, I think that, that uh, I think that Noku hasn't won this before. Really? Yeah. yeah. He's doing great um, so far. Yeah, he is doing great. I, uh, you know, I think Pokemon Trainer, I think, I think, um, Palatina is, like, easily one of the best in the game. I think Pokemon Trainer has a, has a chance against him. You know? Yeah, the, the I think versatility in the kit definitely helps. Yes, yes. And, uh, you know, you can actually two-frame her pretty, pretty well with that down air. You know, her recovery's really good, but the, the Ivysaur Dare is just so disjointed that it'll... Yeah, and it's, it gets her pretty good, you know? Definitely helps that Noku definitely seems to be a specialist of the Ivysaur. Yeah, and that the character... Yes, yes. It's like, he's playing Ivysaur quite a bit, and then the character himself is, like, the strongest of the three. Yeah, yeah, so it works out a lot. Yeah, like, that, that dairy, like, almost always, like, connects if you do it right. It's really, really good. So we're in the red zone for both these characters, and Noku's definitely looking for that two-frame and some... Yeah, for uh, sure. Some capacity, Razor Leaf right? spam to kind of get something going. Ooh, okay, hits him with the shoulder. Oh, oh wow. Reverse up beat. Not dead. Doesn't die. Must 160. have not been the sweet spot. Okay, that was down smash. Uh, two frames for the down smash. That's, you know, you don't often see that from the Ivy's, but... Okay. Uh, that sure. was good, DI. Uh, sometimes, I don't know why with that back air, when it's middle stage, it doesn't do sparks, but it often kills. I'm not sure why that is. Just, uh, yeah, I think it's with all the, the, the way the, the knockback scaling is in this game. You'll see it with, like, Kevin Falcon's new back air scaling, okay. is that it scales well, and so, like, it'll just knock people off and kill them, and, like, like uh, it kills better while we're, like, closer to the blast zone, does that make sense? Gotcha. So the scaling's good, but then it doesn't kill, like, higher up. Higher up, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's it's, it's, it's weird yeah, that's ultimate weird. scaling stuff. Ooh, nice and close to I like that, so... Oh, wow. Chunk through it. Oh, it's gonna be hard. He's gonna have to do a flame into an up. Wow, that was great coming up from right. He really just yeah. kind of just threw out everything and it all hit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hit him. Uh, I don't do that often. I'm gonna start incorporating that. The explosive flame, you hit him and then you go for auto reticle out yeah, of it. I, I always go for another um, another flame, but I think the auto reticle looks guaranteed. Yeah, and it seems to do a lot of damage. Yeah, like, it does. That carried him well into the hundreds. So. Yeah, and he's starting at like 70, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's a good chunk of change. Ray, uh, a, a, a specialist with the ledge trapping. Very, very good at it. Yeah, and it's loves, like, loves, loves that. you'll hear people complain about not going off stage with Palu and just like narrowing or whatever, but like, if you're getting that much damage and yeah. keeping stage control, like, keeping stage you control, don't have to not? like all the time. No, no. And like, he's, he's definitely not. He's commanding the entire stage yeah. for the entire duration. And he's just like, yeah, he's just taking tons of damage. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, wow. That was really good. Oh, surprise that kills. He changed through like the what was probably gonna be a oh, back air, confirm. Yeah, back yeah. confirm. Yeah. So that was really good awareness on his part, but then unfortunately, he got anyway. yeah, and then he got buried anyway for his troubles, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, it's kind of like I don't know, damned if you do, damned if you don't, right? Yeah, yeah. One of those seems to be a trend in Smash. Yeah, but I guess I mean maybe just a normal spot dodge would have been better there, or air dodge. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, the other one puts him in a lot of. Oh, you're my hero guy. Yeah, yeah. For sure. I love my hero. We got a bunch of them on there. Yeah, I got Frob. I oh, got, yeah. got All Might, I got Deku, oh, yeah, my mom against Deku as well. We got a bunch of them in that bottom one, right? Oh yeah, the whole squad. The whole squad, oh, yeah. Dude. What's your favorite character, real quick? Oh god. Do you have one? Top three. Top three? Yeah. Eraserhead. Uh... Oh god, Bakugo. Okay. And... Endeavor. Endeavor? I love Endeavor. Oh wow, interesting choice. Because he's like Vegeta to me. Yeah, I love Vegeta. Like second place, badass. Which of these players do you think is Vegeta? Probably Noku. Okay. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, yeah. I can see it. I feel like Ray is largely more successful, but Noku's a very skilled player. Yeah, in his own yeah, right. for sure. And Ooh, I thought he was gonna get hit with that explosive flame, dog. Just barely misses it. And like we want to root for the number two. Like it's it's always awesome right, to see right. the underdog. Yeah, it's true. Who's like really working his butt off? Come through and, pull and through. trying it with Charizard. Whoa. Whoa! I'm surprised. Yeah, surprised that he made it through the fire blitz. He rolled yeah. in, but whoa, hits him with some fire. Not Bowser fire. Doesn't deal six thousand percent. Yeah. <laughs> that fire will deal like literally forty. Back throw definitely easy to kill there. One seventy yeah. three. No way. One of the strongest back airs in the game. Back throws. In the game. Probably like fourth strongest. Yeah, I'll put it up there. It's right. It's like, it's like unre Nessie unreasonably yeah, strong. Yeah, it, it is. Definitely, she doesn't need it. Yeah, on top of a great kit, but anyway, she has it. It is the way it, <laughs> it is. is. But let's see if he can. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Blows him up there. Yeah, it's that's nice. Oh, this face a little bit. That's a tragedy. For sure, that was a stop. Um, now he's taking 6173. I mean, honestly, super, super great off of um, off of Ray to be like, all right, you missed your F smash. 
I mean, he took it. It's still going. You know, this is still disadvantage right here. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Okay. And then that awkward yeah. little situation with the shields coming up. Yeah. Uh, no good shaking his head. Didn't really like that whole interaction. No, I mean, how could you blame him, you know? Yeah. Not fucking good. Not as strong as Palatine is. He's got to get the stock here at the ledge. Yeah. See if you get it. No, too slow on that. Oh, gets him there. Okay. I'm not really sure what that air dodge was going to do. Um... Because it didn't beat his nair, it didn't beat his up air. So it was kind of just like a panic uh, yeah, last yeah, resort yeah, option. Yeah. Because Noku was still in stun from his other thing, so he, he actually couldn't have done the, the up air until uh, until the time he did it. Yeah, and he just he just follows him the entire duration after that down throw and gets that up air. It was like not a whole lot to do, not a lot, not, not a whole lot of places to go in that situation. Yeah. And now, you know, Palatina in advantage state is a uh, scary, scary lady. You know? She'll take this home. Down throw back air? Oh, okay. That was a little sloppy of a back air. That percentage, you should you should get one. Yeah, and he it was good coverage though. He followed up with the up tilt. He just yeah. expected something aggressive, and like I mean, Noku's got to be he's so far behind. Yeah, I know, I know. So, and and it, it, respectful, you know, you got to yeah. make something happen. When you're this far behind, you got to make something happen. You know, that's all you can do is try your try your dang just Yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's better than just going out potentially extremely patiently. Yeah, for sure. Feeling like you didn't do enough. Ooh, beautiful. Oh, what a wait there. That was a tricky wait, and he has no reason to like overcommit. Wow, that works like that. Who knew? Everything. Not Everything me, was on lock. Yeah, that, dude, that, that was sick. No huh? I'll get off too. All right, guys, I am finally back after my embarrassing two seconds of commentary. I got knocked out of the tournament, but I played okay. All right. All right, just matchup knowledge I got to learn. It's whatever. Uh, yeah, so it looks like we got Winner's Corner Fidel versus Winner of Salty Fun versus Raffi. Winner of Salty Fun and Raffi versus uh, C. And uh, that set looks like it's going to game three, so we're going to be here a while. Uh, if I can grab somebody to... Let's see if I can grab some visuals for you guys, all right? Uh, All right, we got some boring visuals here, but now we are going to go for advertisements. It's here. Okay, we are here at Encore Esports, 5, 538 Main Street here in New Rochelle. It's right off the New Haven line. And if you take, uh, if you guys are living in New York City, you can take the Grand Central right to New Rochelle and just walk a couple blocks there. There, there are some people who can carpool with you, no problem. But uh, not only do we have Smash here, we got Pokemon Go. We got Pokemon Go, all right. Street Fighter V, Melee. A Dragon Ball, a League, Hearth, and then on computer, we, and then um, we have a bunch of PC games for you guys to play. You can play League, Hearthstone, CS:GO, Fortnite, Apex, Overwatch. I even saw some people playing TF2 when that was relevant. Uh, oh, and uh, this is the month, and this is the monthly on June 30th. We have Smashdown um, for the Road to Defend the North, which is something I will be going to as well, which will be exciting. I think it is a Sunday. We got doubles and singles. I don't know the price points on that. that. I wanted to go last month, but I couldn't due to complications, unfortunately. But I'm here now, so that's what matters. There is, and this is just our, and this is just where we're at watching right now. Uh, we got Smash.gg, e single registration, five dollars double, plus eight dollar venue, seven dollar singles. And then a bunch of tournaments here for defend for the road to defend the north. We got um we got June 8th. It is already happened, yeah. Uh, on the 15th we got um Mortal Kombat 11. We got uh June June 22nd we got Dragon Ball. June 29th uh, we got Melee and on June 30th we got Ultimate. 
It's seven events in June, all Road to Defend the North, which is happening in... Do we have an app for Defend the North? Oh, and then, uh, of course, we got the classic, if you guys are in New York City, Zeno. Oh, I was there yesterday. Very fun. Um, same price point here. Uh, it's $8 venue, $7 single fee. He, every Wednesday, we got some top players there. We got Venia. We got John Numbers. We got we got Dill. We got um, a bunch of people. Oh, we got Ray. We got Ralphie. We got Jen. We got a bunch of people. And uh, if we can pull up a Defend the North ad. Okay, then I will just do an oral Defend the North ad. Cut. Cut. Cut to me. All right, guys. We are... I am here to... Not Salty Fun. Uh, I am not Salty Fun, unfortunately. But, uh... But Defend the North. That is happening on June 21st. It is a three-day weekend. We got... This guy. Uh, are you going to defend the North? Okay, then you gotta sign up then. Yeah. Uh, registration is still open right now, but I recommend getting your tickets fast. As we got, um, there's a big fighting game tournament there. We got a bunch of streamers like Team Spooky. Spooky, I believe Furby's gonna be there. House is gonna be hosting the Smash stuff. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be at the New Yorker Hotel. It's going to be at the famous New Yorker Hotel right next to Madison Square Garden. Very nice. Very nice venue. And if you're over 21, you got the after party you can sign up for, too. Ooh, it's going to be a very nice tournament. Nice. I don't know if... Uh, is the New Yorker a four-star or a five-star? Yeah, it's a nice four-star hotel. It's going to be very nice. Yeah, four is like next level, but I just want to point out how next level nice this uh, the New York Hotel is. It's gonna be crisp, and if you guys for some goddamn reason want to see me there, I will be there. There and a bunch of other people will be there. It will be very exciting. And unfortunately, we don't have any like direct defend the North ads right now. I would use a graphic. Like we kind of boom. Okay. Oh, wow, we have a lot of stuff here. We got Street Fighter, Tekken, Ultimate, MK11, Soul Calibur, which I will also be entering. Dragon Ball, Dead or Alive, Samurai Showdown. Oh, Cross Tag. Uh, Guilty Gear, Poke Pokemon, Fortnite, for whatever, for whatever reason. Apex, Overwatch, For Honor, Melee, free, which is free entry fee. Ultra Street Fighter 4, I believe, is free entry fee. Um, something, something. Uh, Ultimate Marvel 3, Third Strike, which I also know is free entry fee. Street Fighter Alpha 2, free entry fee. M Marvel 2, Street Fighter uh, free entry fee. Capcom vs. SNK, A Samurai Savior. No, Vampire Savior, my bad. Uh, Vampire Savior and Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Yeah, we got a bunch of stuff there. Right there at the New Yorker Hotel, Matt, right in Manhattan. Lovely venue. Who follow them at, follow them at, uh, Twitter. At, at Defend the North, I believe that's their Twitter at. Let me pull that up. Let me just double check that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, once again, we got Encore. Uh, I said, once again, we got Encore. I just promoted everything. Then give us a venue fee. Give us a uh, venue thing. Okay, we got. Yeah, so we're still waiting. Oh, hey, we got Rap Salty Fun winning. Upsetting Red. Upsetting Ralphie. Very nice. I actually like that a lot. Yo, join me on commentary, why don't you? That'd be hype.
and we are both now live. Nice. Oh, yeah, I got a uh, C. Wait, what's your tag? Uh, you can just call me Adam. Everyone All right, we got Adam here. Adam. We got Adam and Twisted. Adam and Twisted. I like that. That could be the new duo. Who knew? It's it's probably going to be Salty Club and Twisted eventually. All right, hurtful but understandable. Yeah. But no, I've been commentating with that guy for like two years now. So. No, absolutely. Yeah. Salty has been my go-to commentator. And he has been my boy. Good. Friendship, really important. Yeah. Underrated aspect of esports. Not a lot of friendship talking to Yeah, not a lot of friendship. <laughs> a lot of rivalry and hatred and venom. Exactly. But, uh, yeah. I actually tweeted out to a couple. I actually uh, shared in my Discord server this tournament thing because they all like to see me commentate. Nice. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah. If you are in that Discord and you are watching No, it's, right a, not, now, it's not my actual Discord. It's, uh, ah. well, it's just like a, a group DM. If you are in that group DM and you are watching this right now, you can throw it in another group DM. You can give it to a friend of a friend, perhaps. Let's get yeah. as many people watching this awesome bracket that yeah. is just Unfortunately, uh, one of the people who likes watching me the most is currently on the road to Mexico. That's going to make it tough, but, you know. Yeah, so she doesn't have Wi-Fi or anything, so. Okay, well, you know, with the, the new Verizon Unlimited package, perhaps. She's also going internationally, so you won't really uh, get data anyway. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna it's getting tougher and tougher, <laughs> but. Yeah. Let's see. All right, we got the Yoshi. We got that Yoshi. Picking up a win over Ralph, dude. That's That's a big one. Yoshi DK? All right. Honestly, the set was taking so long. All right, so let me channel my inner uh, salty fun here. <clears throat> so the thing about Yoshi is, <laughs> tell me I'm incorrect on that though. <laughs> no, my <laughs> my impersonation of you. That's a really, that's a really important move. <laughs> Ooh, got him! That was great. I, I thought for a second I had hit a button on a soundboard here. I thought that was that was him. That was. Crazy. Nah, I've I've been I've been conversating with you for like two years now, dude. It's fine. I know how it works. I know the score. I know this is such like, a dumb thing to be impressed by, but the amount of people that come here and set up their profiles in two seconds flat, it's crazy. Oh, I like I'm the best at that. I No, I know. I'm the best at that because uh, I figured out that if I just type TW, the switch will auto-complete the word twisted. twisted. That's pretty sweet. My and name sometimes I don't even have to write TW. Sometimes it's just T. <laughs> and I'm just like, boom. Yeah, a full I'm, tag. I'm lucky enough to have a three-letter tag. That's an easy one, but it's the controls that set me back. It takes me like oh, like I've been putting in the minutes. same controls for like for like two years, so it's fine. Yeah, right. All right. At that point, uh, anyways, we got DK versus Yoshi. Now Yoshi is the character with the fastest aerial drift in the game. He was at least in Smash Four. I don't know if that's still true. It probably still is. Um, and DK used to be the most significant grappler in the game. He still is. But not quite as devastating as he was in Smash 4. No, but I can tell you from experience that C is devastating himself with these kinds of moves. Yeah, like solid 99%. And right out the gate. More, looking for more with that back air off, off stage. I mean, he's just like a, such right. a punishing oh. player to play against. He was trying to go for like egg release forward air. Nice. Oh, we went for the forward air though, but it came out a little too slow. I was playing friendlies with uh, Salty Fun earlier. Yeah. Wow, good yeah. reads. Staying the impressive thing about Salty Fun is actually he doesn't practice. I know. I I think he has told me that he doesn't have a switch. Is that true? He doesn't have a switch, and I'm not going to say why. Out of friendship for him. Oh, oh the the gimps. Yeah, if Yoshi gets his double jump taken away somehow, even though he has the double jump armor, if he gets that taken away, it is over. He is not coming back. Yeah, and C is like a runaway train when he gets going. I think, honestly, a lot of the heavy characters are where it's just like, it yeah. feels so smothering. I think Ultimate going. in general is a very momentum-based game. Yeah, I, I don't know how it compares to other Smash games in that regard, but geez, oh. I mean, that is an impressive, oppressive minute and a half game there for C. That was brutal. <laughs> you think you're hot for... Right, yeah. You, you think you're hot because you think you're hot? <laughs> I, I was so try. I was so tempted to go non esports on that, but I can't. Yeah, no. This is a family oriented program. Here, yes, so. I, I am well aware. I'm too used to commentating with Spooky, where he does not care about uh -huh. that. Yeah. <laughs> no, unfortunately, we adhere to a strict code of ethics here. Yes. Which means a sometimes swearing on stream. Yeah. 
All right, let's see if Salty Fun... Okay, he's got the 9-1 punch on deck. 9-1 actually stronger than 10-1, but 10-1 has super armor. I don't know what any of that means. Um, when DK does his neutral B, the more times he winds his fun punch, like, you know how he circles yeah, his punch yeah. around? If he does it nine times, it's stronger than if he charges it all the way. Huh. I did not know that. Interesting. You learn something every day. I didn't actually realize there... I didn't know you could charge it one less than the maximum. You could charge it as many times as you want. Really? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. But now he's got the ten wine fully charged on standby. But uh, yeah, it is weaker than the nine wine, but it does have super armor. Ah, okay. All right. So there is a bit of like a strategic difference in how you. Yeah. If you want to get the early kill, you go for the nine wine. But if you just want to be safe, go for the ten wine. Right. Right. And I feel like after that first game, see. Yeah. See, there's the armor right there. Yeah. Looking for big damage here. So. I'm surprised oh, by his decision okay. making. He went for it again, but this time he's not getting the same. Oh, okay. The jab knocking him out of the side beam. Uh oh. Spaghetti up. Oh, he saved him. He saved him. We were talking about friendship before, but I don't think there's any stronger of a, a friend's move than, than saving, saving your when you're about to yeah. body him. <laughs> I am not that good of a friend because no. if I try accidentally save you, I will do everything in my power to kill you all over again. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. DK, a lot of rage built up here. Still chasing OG around, finding. The oh, that's like harder. four. Oh, oh God. God. 69, 85% off one string. That was crazy. Oh, down B going to take hey. his first stock. All right. We did it. We got one. We did it. You proud of me, Mom? You proud of me, Mom? Oh, my God. You proud of him, Nick? Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Nick C if you're watching. Absolutely. Uh, and, yeah, I mean, C is just, is just keeping this train going. Oh, missing on those back airs. Not able to confirm the kill quite yet. Oh, oh. man. Oh, that's finish. over. Oh, it's over. Was that? Yeah, uh, that's it. Was that even? Yeah, actually, that had to have been tackable. But uh, way. yeah, it was techable. Yeah. But uh, he just missed the tech. Brutal. Brutal that was a, that was a slaughter. Yeah, absolutely. And I actually am slacking here. I was so invested in the game. That you didn't even show, you didn't even update. I did anything. not update what's All right. going on here. But uh, Salty Fun will probably be joining us after he's done with the salt. Yeah, absolutely. He deserves a breather. He just played back-to-back -back sets. Uh, and I got to imagine on some level he... Um, is upset about that. Yeah, no, definitely that. Absolutely that. But uh, I feel like I had to have, like, hurt his game coming into this one to come off a three-game, like, buzzer beater set against Ralphie and then just come straight onto the stream and play such a good player like C. Like, that is a lot yeah. of smash to I, back in. Yeah, like, I've had um, a bracket where I had, uh, where I went Venia into Vivi. Mm. That Not, was yeah. rough. Yeah, that, that was probably the roughest set I've ever had yeah, in my life. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Like I I uh almost beat Venia. That, and then that's not that that's something to hang your hat on right there. Yeah. But then oh god, Vivi just destroyed me. Yeah. Oh man. Alright, do you need a uh, breather here, Salty, or are you ready to hop right in? No right, breathers I will pass for off him. The mics. No breathers for Salty. I respect that tremendously. Cut to the camp commentator camp? Yeah. Real quick. I I just like, f I don't know how to play against DK in this game. I keep thinking he's Smash 4 DK, and I play against him yeah. like he's Smash 4 DK. The crew, the duo is back. We got Salty Fun and Twisted from a year ago back in Smash 4. <laughs> this is, we are back to the good old days. Ain't that the life. Congrats on beating Ralphie, though. Thanks. I, okay, like, yeah, 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 whatever. I'll take it. Thank you. You take those because I'll even though it was jank. I mean, it was kind of jank. Take the jank. Take I mean, the jank. It's just that like, I won the last stock because oh. I downbeat his shield and he dropped it and got hit. Or might have gotten shield poked, but it's like, you know when you win and it's only because your opponent like... I saw your game too. I saw your game too. Oh my god, I did game two. I got freaking throbbed, dude. <laughs> no, I mean your game one then. Oh, game one. Oh, you mean when I was at 180 and then I killed him off stage with Aglaia like 40? Yeah. That's what I saw. Yep, that would, that would do it. All right, we got Joker. Now, I actually, I actually use, do this matchup a lot because uh, my counter pick for Joker, my counter pick for Bowser is Joker. Is this what's happening though? Uh, no, this is just like a. Uh, I think they picked the wrong stage. No, is this character matchup happening? Yeah, this matchup's actually not that bad. 
No, I mean, like, in terms of, is Chess playing Bowser? I mean, I know that Ice has been, like, working on his Joker, sort of. I haven't seen it in tournament either. I don't think they're actually playing those characters. Don't get too attached to that matchup. Oh, no. Joker. Yeah. Okay, this is a matchup I also have a little bit of experience with. Because sometimes I'll switch to uh, Joker for some Palus. Now, admittedly, since I don't own the game and I've been busy the last few weeks, I have played against Joker once in a friendly, and that, is the, ex that is the pure extent yeah. of my well, exposure to this character. Well, fear not, because I am a Joker secondary, so I know, and a, Pal and a Palutena tertiary. So I actually know how this matchup works on both sides. <laughs> Palutena tertiary. Yeah. I'm sorry, just like, 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 tell me someone who isn't a Palutena tertiary. Yeah, she is the easiest character to use the game, I won't lie. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just uh, Joker wants to take advantage of uh, just having superior range with the uh, thing and uh, just building Arsene, really. Once the Arsene gets built, um, just so you know, Arsene comes out on frame three, you know. What do you mean? Um, the Arsene charge, uh, Rebel Guard. Oh, you mean down the actual, the counter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, that thing, that thing there. That comes out on frame three. Uh, yep, that's a combo breaker, and then you get Arsene, and then you get a normal frame A counter like everybody else. Uh, put me back the Joker. Get rid of this thing. I want my frame three counter back. Oh said no, this is what you ever. want. Yeah, said nobody ever. So like, I know that um, I'm curious to see how Ice approaches Joker because okay, cool. Um, he is a really smart player. You've ever he, talked to him or played against him? You just see like his intelligence, his ability to adapt, his knowledge of the game state is just so good. And seeing him pick up another character, I feel like lets me see like another facet of how he approaches the game. And right now he's being very patient. Like yeah. Joker is a character that I know sort of is almost cheap esque especially when he doesn't have Arsene, but like he's spending a lot of time here shielding, just like choosing his forward airs, back airs very carefully, I think because he knows the threat that Palutena I think the character has. he has the most in common with, honestly, is, um, yeah, you're right, you're with, without Arsene, it's cheap, but with, with Arsene, he's a Greninja of the room for real. Hmm. What? You mean because of his mobility? No, mobility, his same com his similar combo structure, Oh, I see. Yeah, like up, drag down, up airs and things. Yeah, and down tilt, up airs, stuff like that. I mean, he doesn't have the insane mobility. Now, like forward air and back air are both kill options. Back air is stronger. As God intended. Every back air should be stronger than forward air. Yeah, that, where do you think nice back air comes from? Anyways. Um, now, Joker is also a character you see a lot in play nowadays, because um, MKLeo has just been proving that this character is ridiculous. I will say that also, I think MKLeo was just kind of ridiculous. Yeah, that, that, that is definitely I, a factor. I, you know, it's like, I feel like MKLeo could have picked any sword character and win a major, you know? Not Marth. Anyways. <laughs> no, he could probably play Marth. <laughs> Excuse me. He could probably play Marth and win a major. Like, he doesn't want to because, like, Marth sucks. Anyways. Marth doesn't suck. Marth only sucks because Lucina exists. And we should that, stop that, that's about correct. It. That's correct. Okay, there's the up smash. What percent? Suspect DI though. Uh, yeah, I don't know if the DI was the issue. I think the issue was our sand. What percent? No, that doesn't he? that doesn't work. That he was at 90 and that doesn't work. Up smash doesn't kill Palutena at 90 on the stage. Uh, yeah, just with bad DI. With rage, does. just with bad DI does. Okay. I will take your word for it. But don't you have to DI away? Yes, but he didn't DI away. I mean, I guess so, but he rolled away. Guess he rolled away and then changed his direction just in time to get hit. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> I've been there. Yeah. Oh, question. How does Palutena edge guard Joker? Because oh. Joker's a character with his recovery is very decent, but it's very exploitable, especially for some oh, members he, of the cast. You, you ever see him? You ever see Palo edge guard a Belmont? I assume it starts with Nair. Yeah. And ends with Nair. Yes. Okay. There you are we go. One thousand percent right. <laughs> Uh, well, we haven't seen him get one yet. He's been doing a lot of rising man. Yeah, that's no. because he's doing a very good job of mixing up his recovery and just kind of being tricky with the angles, uh, which I like with Ice. Yeah. yeah. 
Right, oh. Is he going to go for a two frame? No, I like that. Fakes him out, tries to bait him into buffering the ledge. Okay, there's an air. Or there. Arsene charged. Oh, dang. That does so much damage. And it still has the damage over time effect. Neutral established. Arsene charged. Yup, it's Joker time. Ah, uh, maybe it's Palu time. He is at 87 already. No, you have no idea how dumb. I mean, he's he Arsene's gone. He's gone. He was, okay, now Arsene's gone, but I mean, he was relax. He was gone back, by the time the next um, interaction. The, the was higher gone. percent Joker has, the faster he gets Arsene. I did not know that. That is, I'm gonna say neat. Yeah, like you see how fast it's coming up. It's almost halfway there. Oh, back throw, not quite. Oh, there's the back air, and that's going to do it, yeah. Yeah, good job. I think that based on Chess's reactions, he probably wanted to snap the ledge. Yeah. But getting those angles so consistent all the time, it's just, you know, it's difficult. I think and this is objectively the second worst skin. For really? What's objectively the worst skin? Uh, the white one with yellow accents. What's the best skin? The Dante costume, obviously. What's the third best skin? Uh, the third best skin is Black Suit Joker. Black or Uniform Joker. Joker. Fifth best. Or third worst. I don't rank that far. How? You, you've literally ranked, like, up to at least bottom two, and, like, down to bottom two. You're no, that's because like I forget two. the other ones. You're missing I forget two and a all half the other ones. Left. Come on, just commit. Anyway, we have, uh, Lilac. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got a little bit. Yep. So, uh, uh, this is a stage actually Joker kind of struggles on a little bit. I, this is a I mean, this is a stage that we struggle on. <laughs> no, Joker Joker just kind of benefits from having a lot of open platform space to juggle with, and you can't really do that in this I, There must be some, like, platform extensions you can do with uh, yeah. those tri -flats. Yeah, but you want to bait their landing and just punish their landing into the Joker. Because I mean, down tilt is such a great combo starter, just having that option there. Dead? Oh my god, he almost died from that. He legitimately he was died about to from die. That. Okay, you saying that the up smash would not kill Palutena? No, he hit a sour spot. He hit the sour spot. Uh... Oh, <laughs> I love it. Explosive flames dragging the opponent to you. Sure. Why not? Why not? Palu deserves it after all she's no. been through. No. no, after all she's been through in Smash 4? Why? She's earned her top tier spot. No, Little Mac has earned a top tier spot and we'll never give it to him. <laughs> Nobody wants Little Mac to be like S tier. Except for like Wonton. Yeah, I guess just Wonton. Wonton just wants to win or something. Just wants to win stuff. <laughs> okay. He wants to win at something? <laughs> he just wants to, you know, just, I gotta get one on the board. Yeah. <laughs> just let, just let old Wonty win for once. Yeah. <laughs> That's what Wonton Warrior sounds like, by the way. <laughs> If you, if you ever talk with him, I assure you, 100% that's best, how he talks. The best part is you're kind of right. I am not right. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm making a joke. <laughs> anyway, back to the match, <laughs> which uh, Ice is doing a pretty good job at. Yeah. Then again. Uh, Arsene almost on deck. Oh. Now Arsene's on deck. Oh, man. Yeah, that yeah. is, he's been throwing that option off, off from off stage. Now, Boy, that's dead. I don't know if you know this, but um, when you hit with a side B, he actually, it actually does some dot. I know. Yeah. Yeah, it does some nice dot. Or as, uh, as the not cool kids call it, damage over time. How much damage does it do? Um, I think it goes up to like 20. Yeah, that seems about fair. 20. Without Arsene? Without Arsene? Yeah, because you hit once and then the dot over How much happens. with Arsene? I think it's like 25. Because because it only adds the base damage from that. Okay. Now, all right. So Chess is an emotional player, as we saw earlier when he went on stream. He popped off, you know. Yeah. And the back means, row, not quite. Oh, uh, he wanted to make sure he got that last little pummel in, but that could end up doing him. You know. Can do him in. Oh. Why did they not connect? Oh, um, sometimes long? the game just doesn't like tether characters. Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't like tether, tether characters either. I can relate. You can relate to the game? I can relate to the game not wanting Joker to snap the ledge. Poor Belmont, poor Zero Suit, poor everybody. Uh, Isabel. Isabel, yeah. Well, don't Isabel doesn't need it. She is a tether character. Uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> Isabel can't recover. 
Uh, let's get back to this match, which is actually kind of getting heated. 18% is on ice, but that's... I mean, as Palutena, damage can end up going really quickly. I like the positioning of that up air, specifically because he stalls a little bit when he counters, and that meant that if he did counter, it wouldn't hit him, and if he didn't, that up air would have connected. And, okay, this is starting to Arsene is on good. deck, is that and... It? Oh, that was about to be it. Well, it might be it for either one yeah. of them. Oh, wow, getting a dash attack off of that read. Oh, that's a that's a reflector, just so you know. I, I do know. Uh, why didn't he reflect Explosive Flame back? Because our Explosive Flame isn't a moving projectile. Uh, it, I, what the... He lost our set. Right at the bottom. Oh, that was a... Oh, that parry was so close, but the spacing was just so good. Oh, he's got... No, just jabs. Oh. Okay, he's going to try... <laughs> he's looking for this back air. Back air at the side of the stage when, he, when you're just Joker. That's kind of like your okay. best reliable kill. Yeah, he just went for just the pummels. <laughs> I would... <laughs> oh, look at this. This swipe's coming out. You know the funny thing? Dash there attack's is, going was, to take it. That was so good from Ice. Like, We've just think it. about the lead into that. The way he was throwing out these, these like, back airs, these back airs, these forward airs, changing the placement of them, and really all of that was just to open up chest for a dash attack. Yeah, and then just, just go in. Well, no, he was, he was like basically Chess was completely respecting this space, but Chess is also in the corner, so Chess wants to get out of the corner. How does he get out of the corner? And he wasn't while respecting, respecting the space. corner. No, no, and then the thing is, while you're thinking about all that, you get dash attacked. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, but anyway, so good stuff to Ice. And next, we're going to have Ling Ling versus. Did Kevin beat Salad Dressing? Wow. All right, good stuff to Kevin. I don't know anything about Westchester, so... Salad Dressing got second last week. He beat... Jen. He beat Jen last week. Oh, that's nice. That's actually a good win. Jen's a good win. Yeah, no, that was a stack tournament. He did really well, but he got knocked into losers by Kevin. It's just so hard being consistent, you know? Especially when you have, like, a breakout performance. The very next tournament, you put all of this pressure on yourself, you know? <laughs> You're like, I don't want it to be a fluke. I want to be like, uh, this is it. This is my time. My <laughs> this is this is Wanty's time. This is Wanty's time. This is Wanty's time. This is Wanty's. That's Wanty's. That's what Wanton Warrior says. It's his catchphrase, by the way. If you ever speak to him, I I have to go. I'm sorry. It looks like you gotta play, and we'll do the pass. All right, and we, we got the pass down on lock. Live. Yeah, we do. Oh. Nah. I am. Down. And I'm going to bring the whole thing home. That's a fact. Not a fact. It's an opinion. And even then, it's a bad opinion. I actually got to check uh, what times my like trains are going to be. Oh, are you from the city? Yeah. Mario. Well, Encore. Hey, yeah, I'll pass this headset off. We got local man Maddie taking a seat on the couch, getting ready to watch this. Awesome match up here. Let me make sure I don't mess this up. And I didn't. Cool. Let me pass okay. the headset off. Okay. It's been a while. I haven't been on bracket all day today. What's good, people? Look at Maddie on this. Well, how y'all doing? Uh, so we got what? KB versus Ling Ling? Yeah, we got Kate. We got Kevin versus Ling Ling. We got Mario versus Peach. Now, Peach is a very common character, as Peach you see. Peach is a very nowadays. common character, and Mario not so common, but I'll tell you for sure. She still bodies him. Or at least, actually, Dark Lily says she doesn't body him as hard as she did in Smash 4. But I still think this matchup is not that good for Mario. His combos don't really work that well on her. It's hard. Yeah, you can't really combo floaties all that easily. Yeah, I mean, with Mario, not. Nah. I mean, usually it's like, you know, he just tried to do ladders, and honestly, they say it got better. Like, up air out of shield. Actually, hmm, maybe it did not get one. better. Hey, I mean, his up air got buffed in the last game, so like, up air combos. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, there's the up B. Not quite going to do it yet, though. That was hot, though. <laughs> Let's go, KB. But uh, can he get past the wall that is Ling Ling's Peach? Yeah. This is what happens when an immovable object hits an unstoppable force. Except <laughs> the unstoppable force ran out of battery. Yeah. The unstoppable force being Mario's up smash. See if you can Ooh, take some batteries from the TV remote at home. <laughs> Warren Freddy trying to go for the, um, the up smash would definitely would have killed, but Ling Ling catching with the back here so soon. And KB having trouble putting his feet on the ground. 
nearly snuffing him out of the sky with that forward air. Doing great. Oh, Ooh, nice. Oh, no, no, no. He was going for that. He was going for that cheese. Yeah, he was going for some nasty stuff, but he kind of dropped it a little bit. You've seen that, Zero? That clip he posted on Twitter? Yeah, I saw that, yeah. Mm, that nah, crazy. I feel like he was going for that. All right, read. Oh, read grab. I'll catch him on the read grab. Uh, all these full hops coming out. Mm, I'm not doing my job. Nice parry. I think he wanted down throw. No, I think I think he intended for down smash just to get the damage out. True that. I feel. Oh, well, I'm not free me, but I feel like he could have got more with the down throw. But then again, probably not. Ah, oh, he had not, he had to be with it too soon. All right, what's the edge guard? Oh, mad. No, he's fine. I know you want. He didn't die for that. That border. Everyone like. I feel like everyone knows they have to respect the border, but they just underestimate the range it has. And that forward air was wicked good. Yeah. God, is that, that a thing? stitch? That it, was a stitch it, it, and uh, completely huh? wasted. Huh? Huh? What? Did Why? he even know that was a stitch? Why? He threw that straight. I don't think he knew that was a stitch. He didn't know, bro. He, the, if he, ah, bro. You should have went back and caught it. Ling Ling. You could have got a clip, my guy. You could have eviscerated the stock so soon. This game probably be over. No, 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 like shade on KB's name. KB is dumb nice. That's like darn, son. <laughs> it's just Stitch is such like a crazy powerful Ooh. tool. Oh no, just missing it. Oh, uh, there's the up smash. Not quite gonna kill him yet, though. If Lingling was real, he would have up beat him. <laughs> if Lingling Ling was real. Yeah, if Lingling was real, he would have beat him. But nah, he's not real. Nice cape. Send him right back. The 96 percent is wild. Oh, like, back him with that back air. Great patience and awareness from Lingling. Ling. Ooh. So happy to we got these aerial cancels. Very nice. Oh, there's the wink. Jesus Christ, what do you do? He whipped the back air. No, he did, he, he did back air until he crossed him up and then got a grab. That's wild. Oh, no. Can I get pressure wrong? on? Time to go over that Ling Ling. Oh. Stay impatient in the he sky. He kind of just went for a double uh, spot dodge there. Yeah. Okay, just normal for turn. Totally cutting him off. Nice, catch him double. Going for a forward air right there too. Oh yeah. Hey. Oh, he's got a mini stitch. All right, let's go. Oh, that's a mini stitch. Oh, I forgot. Do you know what? I'm, uh, that if that you have the beady eyes that turn up, that actually does more damage. Really? Yeah, it does more damage than a normal turn up, but not as much as a stitch. Which is why I call it a mini stitch. Oh my god. There's the crown forward air. Just hop up and do it. And he's he not even sponsored by Nike. Let's go, Ling Ling. Ling Ling is Ling Ling. Ling 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 so Ling Ling taking the first game in a pretty dominant fashion. Like, KB was fighting back, but he just could not, like. Ling Ling was snuffing him out way too much for KB to get all the damage he wanted in. And he was putting on smart pressure, too. But Ling Ling just said no. No at all. I'm out of this. I think I could stay right. until like 9.50. And you gotta be out? Uh, or 9.45 probably. <laughs> yeah, 9.45 just to be safe. I just gotta catch that train so I can get home. All I live right. all the way out in Brooklyn, my guy. That's where I go to school. Oh, nice. So you know how far that is out here. Yeah. Wait, which part of Brooklyn? Uh, right by, um, right by Atlantic. Yo, what's up, Omar? Um, nah, I go to school at Borough Hall, City Tech. Oh, yeah, I, I know where that is. Yeah. Yeah. That's right by where I, that's right by where I used to go to college. Really? Yeah, you went to NYU? Yeah, I went to NYU. Yeah. Ah, nice. All right, so the game two is going on on Town of the City. Okay, we got, and he gets grabbed, and he gets married. And he's about to get back there, but nothing is coming up. Ling Ling hunting him down, tracking these jumps. Right, boom, nice cape. <laughs> I feel like KB's just swinging for the heavens, but Ling Ling just avoiding everything. A little pin slap. That quarter cancel, what? Yep, it's kind of smacking out the fireballs. It's so, yeah, but it's like, it's so scary to approach this character. Just you like, can just get you can just get bodied by something stupid. Yeah. Oh, wait. If he was a real if he was real, he, he would have up beat him. He would have right beat Oh, dude, that would have been the stock. But I, I, I Don't get do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. 
Okay, he didn't do it. Thank God. Okay, now he's doing it. Nice. What? His what? I feel like KB just didn't There's know the back range. Back air going to take it out, yeah. Okay, 65 to 0. Okay, that's just a normal turn up. It's not like anything crazy. Nah, but he can still, the combos can get off that so crazy. Yeah. All right, okay, down or next. 21. Ooh, 26. Nice. 47 dude. off Preventing of one. this man from landing at all. Catching that center off stage. What's the Edgar? What's the Edgar? Dunker. 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 Nah, he knows better. I let it recover. Three. Mainly just bobbing and weaving everything. Not going, not committed to any options and just... Well, I wouldn't say not committing. He's just like really playing the basic game really well. Yeah, nice. Oh, up smash the pivot just kill up smash going to do it. Alright, let's go. Let's go, KB. Let's just... Ah, uh, you're off stage. Oh my god. Can I can turn up or something? Yahoo. Nice. Ooh, ooh. Nah, they smash for you. Can't drop you like that. Ooh, there's... Read on the spot. I'm eating the neutral getup. We need to stop doing neutral getup because it's so bad in this game. Like, I thought we established that like Every option month. is good until it no longer works. That's true. You're not wrong. But I'm pretty sure it was a stab right in the beginning. Oh, of the there's game. the mini stage you kinda wasted it. I don't know, I just can't wait for the day where we all stop this together being like a Smash 4. Because it's not it's not safe. Nice. Oh he was ready, but he's just flowing into Peach's hands and getting hit by all these combos like it's Marvel versus Capcom 3. Alright, smart idea with the cape. Down throw first. Oh no, I'm landing behind her and that backer coming out. Maybe finding himself on the ledge, not even sure what to do. Ah. Just a back throw. Back throw. Can we get to see the stock? No. The advancing wall from Ling Ling cannot be stopped. Kevin trying his hardest. Nice. Can we get the stock. No. Not, to do it, not enough to scale. Just not enough strength. Ling Ling's not rolling for that. We know better. All right, that's okay. Back throw. <laughs> Gonna, yeah, eat him out. Yeah. Out of here. And Porter. Another one? Oh, nah, he's up. Pop. Very anticlimactic way to end it, but ended it nonetheless. Must, must be the showing from KB in like that game, but still hard. Yikes. Ling Ling, Ling taking that uh, in pretty dominant fashion. All right, so who are we gonna have next is what I want to know. Yeah. I'm trying to see some matches, baby. Yep. Yeah, what's good, stream? Was good. A local man. This man. is probably going to be my last set that I commentate today, though. I. Well, yeah. Oh yeah, you live in Brooklyn. Yeah, it's going to be a long trip. Have, ooh, Ray and I don't want to get. Steve. I don't want to get home at like 2 a.m. or something. No, I, feel, I just I check the train. That. I just check the train times, and uh, the next train departs at like 10:02. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is when they start running hourly. Yeah. And you got to take it to Grand Central. Then you got to catch what the four to five. The four and that is right at home. All right, that's cool. Huh? The surgeon? I want to call the surgeon is is Ray. Yeah. Dre? Dre Charles? I, no, no, not Dre Charles. I haven't seen him here like forever. Yeah. Um, I about. haven't seen him in general in a long time. I'm, All right, we got Ray versus, versus C. C. Young yeah. God C. I right. Ray's S get it, boy. Ow. Wait, what the? Um. So where's the DK at? Well, I know C has a pocket. Well, taco. that's because. Okay, here's why he doesn't use. Here's why he's not using this matchup. I know DK versus Pal is like uh, notoriously bad. It's like, the worst. It's one of the worst. It's so bad. But I've seen him. I've seen him play it before. Well, then again, I think he knows better because like it's, it's Utopian Ray. You'd rather not do it. And this Falco's pretty good. This Falco's pretty good. I've seen it. I've I seen have played as someone who has played Ray's Palu. It is the scariest. It is one of the scariest experiences of your life. I have uh, watching this man play all the time. I am more scared of Ray of. Uh, Ray's Palu than I am Nairo's Palu. Let oh, that yeah, no, sink no, in. No, no, no. I, I am too. Like, any character Ray plays, but like, Ray's like, he's surgical, bro. Like, he's gonna figure out, and then he's gonna like, he's gonna use his tools to what they're supposed to do. What they're supposed to do. And not gonna do anything dumb. Yeah. Oh I hate I hated fighting his Rosa, and I hate fighting his Palu. Never played his Rosa, but I've seen it, and it just looked unbeatable. I'm not gonna hold you. It, it looked... Kind of was. <laughs> I've, I've seen some people take that Rosa out. Some people. Very few. Yeah. It's actually one of them, I think. But other than that, it's just so hard. And it's 
Oh, he's probably gonna have to switch. Oh, no, oh, no, no, That does not cross up anymore, people. No, he was going for the Side ledge. is so unsafe. He's trying to go for the ledge. See, not a bad player by any means, but Ray is really just putting the work Ray is on just on right another now. level, though. The landing traps coming out from dash attack. Oh. He didn't just go off and just whack him? Nah, could, I think he was He probably like, could have just done that, though. I think he's probably scared of getting an Xabi dunk. No, but he, he knew it was an update. Jesus. Okay, you know. Alright, we're gonna prepare from ledge. She gonna get some kind of movement? No. Yeah. We got some projectiles out there with auto rifle. Oh, Steve needs to find a way to close this out. Because this is not looking slow for him at all. At all. Nice. Prosthetic legs to the face, taking the goddess out of here. Aggressive return and find himself back on stage with no jump. Ledge trapping coming in from, from Ray. Yeah, I like the shield check right there. Yeah. See, like, you're going to stay, you're going to jump. All right, cool. Was he up there? Nice head off. Just kind of boom. Like, back uh, air. Down the back and caught the DI in. Okay, oh, there it. he runs off stage with the Nair. There yeah, we go. Yeah, that, that's like free guaranteed. Yeah. Too bad for you. In game one, in a dominant fashion, going to Utopian Ray. Controversial opinion here. I love the fact that Palutena is top tier. And then again, well, I can't say that every character is like, no, there's a hot take. Here's my reasoning. Okay, Palutena was one of the most fun characters for me to watch in Smash 4. And I still enjoy her because she plays fundamentally the same. No. A lot of the stuff you she see. She was like grabbing reset heavy back in Smash 4. Yeah, this now game, it's more like. My, it's more like my Nair combos into everything, and like I can control stage a lot better than I can in the last game because auto radical doesn't suck, and she has explosive flame. Yeah, other than that, like I, I always enjoyed her, so it still works out. I I get true, fair enough. Like I just like I just like the character, like Palatina, who she is. Yeah, I love her too. Oh, oh nasty! Cut down. the downward air. He went back to the DK, the tried and true, but uh, it's not I not quite working out. Uh, the DK is nasty. I mean, it's not working out now because like... Oh, it's, three it's nares. <laughs> three nares at a fair. That's, that's being lucky. He usually gets like triple nared into double up air. Then he's at that percent. He can do this. Uh, uh, Great okay. dash dance dash dash act though. Okay, I was about to say he can do this, but I, I lied. Nah, nah, nah. Never count out C out. C, C's like young god. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, There's ooh, the dash ooh, dancing. Snassy. Moving. There we go. Trying you ever see him? Again. Oh, okay. He's done. Yeah, he did. Too, ver too high vertical. You ever see a giant gorilla just running you? Not exactly fun. No. But can I get a yikes? Oh, jeez. 47% off match four with nares. Not, match was not fun at all. See, no. This far is fast. Yeah. He's just a boy. That's attack not doing it yet. Oh, my God. Like, oh he went for the drag. If he didn't go, he tried. Yeah. Okay, how's he gonna get out the ledge? Oh, okay, yep. there you go. <laughs> yeah. Squish the goddess out of it. Oh my God, he tried to get it back or something. Oh, he went for it. Yeah, that two frames, and it's so dumb. All right, finding his way. Oh no. Okay, up airs. Yep. Oh, he, he got he good air dodge there though. It has lasted long enough to save, extend his life just a little bit. Now this is DK with rage. If he makes the right plays, he can exactly do this. Nice. Ooh. He can make this work, but it's gonna be very rough. Indeed. Oh, try to catch the spot that, or like the neutral get up or something. Oh, back throw. And it's so oh, free. counter yep. with the linear recoveries. He's oh, he's living? making it back though. But it's, it's oh, there's it, the second counter, it's and that's really going just, to deep. it's just rinse and repeat at that point. Man. Yeah. All right. Oh my god. All right. Unfortunately, though, that has to be it for your boy Twisted. I had a great time with you guys tonight. I hope I can make it back soon, but don't count on it because I probably won't be able to come for a long time. <laughs> I'm, but I did have a great time commentating with you guys nonetheless, and I will. S and uh, you can follow me on Twitter. You can um, 
shoot this man a follow. His commentary is nice. Yeah, you can follow me on Twitter. You can catch me at DA Gauntlet whenever they whenever. Oh, they you commentate Gauntlet? Yeah. Oh, my friend used to go. My friend Ryan used to go there a couple of times. Yeah, and um, and you can um, and if you guys want to meet me in person, you either go to Gauntlet, Zeno, or Defend the North. I need to make time to go to Defend the North. Oh man, that's gonna be nice. All right, I'll see you guys. All right, and Twisted is going to be hopping off. All right, watch the steps. See you later. Three, two, one, go. All right, so we're going to have two players, two players that I love watching. Light and Link. Well, I don't think say I love watching Peach because like, Peach is annoying as hell. But we're going to have Light, nasty Joker going up against Ling Ling's insane Peach. Let's get, let's get right into it. Let's. Can you hear me? Indeed. Yes, I can, Adam. I right. so I'm going with Adam, the stream, stream manager right now. And so nice, nice uh, Royal Grab right, right there by Ice. Doing well, but now he's going to get comboed right there. Arsene is in the field, though, so now Ice can actually have a fighting chance against his dominant force that is Peach. Ooh, great Did shield. Did you see that shield damage? Yeah. <laughs> it was, I mean, not only was it great shield damage, but also just like... Ling was just so ready for it. He's honestly he one there. of my absolute favorite players to watch. Man. He's so good. Oh my god. What in the world was right. that aggressive return? Nah, I was trying to get... Nah, Arsene's actually like saving him right there. Yeah. Did it prevent him from like going too far off stage? Huh. I know for a fact Ice has speech practice because he plays Sensora a lot. Ooh, nice. Oh my god. Hard Smash tech's coming out just whipping, whipping, whipping. Back air. Rogard? No. no. Alright. Oh no, Ling Ling went for it. He went for that dumps. He went for the cheese. Yeah, good read though. Hitting the uh, Arsene. I think you're looking for it. What are you looking for? Oh, I'm being called because it's my turn to play round robin. And oh, okay. also, I was providing no value to this. So <laughs> I will get out of here. I will let Maddie be your driver on this wonderful tour through Smash Brothers. Sorry, it's funny to see how that edge guard is going to go. I am out of here, and I will I be back shortly. See you in a bit. So let's get back into the ball. The control is in Ling Ling's favor right now. Gotcha. Ling Ling not overextending by any means necessary, and uh, I is catching the roll read. The catch on the roll right there would be up smash. Good stuff. Now we got to find a way off the ledge against this monster. Rolling right into his, her hand and getting just throwing himself a disadvantage. Trying to land aggressively with Ling Ling ready for it each time with an aerial and a sh shield and an aerial. Ooh, the Phantom Footstool? Ah, uh, nah, I think that was fun. Nice response. And Arsene comes back just in time for the comeback factor. Did I say Arsene? My fault. I meant X Factor. Nice. Ooh, first hit forward in. It's nothing. Ice trying as hard as he can hit on Ling Ling right now. I know he definitely could. This is Professor Ice, man. Oh, no, he's just winging for the heaven. Ling Ling is just. Ling Ling's not having any of it. Nice! Oh, I like the attempt. Never mind, so when I said he's swinging for the heavens, yeah, he is, but it's like, Ice is so snasty with it. Nice back air. His Joker is definitely not as fast as it was, but it'll definitely get there. That's not gonna take that stock really good. Okay, Mr. Right there. Ah, uh, going for the double hit forward there. But not landing it at all. There we go. Double for first hit fair into imagination. That's what I call that. But Ling Ling trying to get his own imagination to work right there with these down airs. And down tilt scarring, down tilt grab. Back in 59% right off the back and arson to boot. That would have been his life. Ling Ling not familiar with the raise of these are uh, Aegons. Dash selecting him off. Ooh, Ice is ready for it. Back in. Nice, the, pi the pimp slap of Arsene. How's it gonna call that? The Arsene pimp slap, my fault. Oh, booty bump right to take him out. Arsene's gone. And so is Ice. <laughs> my god, that was actually bad. Um, so boom. Uh, let me take a game on on PS2. I feel like I should switch. But I don't think he's going to. Running it back right there on PS2. Stop the battle, Joker. Yeah, I knew he was going to switch. And Lin Lin going back to Peach. 
and we're going to have this game start right here with the run back on PS2. All right, let me get into this answer, but this game is hype. Oh, these two players really, 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 really good. Nukes are coming in. I hate that Peach can do like the hell out of aerials. It's so, it's so not fair. And it's not even like the Z dropping because they're just doing it. Why can't I do that? Why can't Toon Link do that? <laughs> That's so good. Stupid wild with it. Oh no, not grab nothing. <sighs> Dude, man, I had a long day. I just want to have a long day uh, figuring out what to do against this Peach. Trying to go in, but a bear coming in right there. Is he gonna go for the dare? No. Uh, has the read on the roll, but doesn't punish it in time. Tries playing and gets a down there, start a down tilt. Down there, up smash already? No, well, well, get your damage in, I guess. Ling Ling not having any of this R7, though. He's just camping it out. And now Ling Ling finally in the advantage state. I lied. F2 right there. I hate I hate F2. Not because it's good. Because I feel like it sucks. Well, it's like. I know, it's only like an early game move. Like, the F is really just an early game move. But you try to use it towards the end of the match, or like toward, toward the end of the stock, and it just, it's not gonna work. Because, you, like, you're trying to get the kill off, and that's just not gonna kill to like 170 with rage. Move blows. It's quick, but it blows. I, I sure I did take. Lingley finally taking the first stock after a very long played out um, early game. Joker Nair. The last hit of Joker's Nair, like the ending hit of Joker's Nair is re really good. Comes in the dash that I can mid percent and whatnot. Oh no. Okay, Ice finding his way back into this match. Back airs to boot. Don't do it. Nice, there we go. Great pace is coming here and Ice. Oh my god, this. Okay, David, you're taking this out. Side B is like, ooh, and our sins here. So now Ice can have the chance to completely obliterate this stock if Lingley will give him the chance. Which I don't think he's going to, because Lingley, oh my god. Yep. Yeah. The pressure is wild, son. All the damage he was doing on the shield was insane. Just the three moves, and the shield is to looking like a gumdrop. All right, downer coming out, but not enough. Is downer safe on shield or something? Or a joker down there. I do not know. Great tech coming out from Ice. The landing right there with the edge guard and the grappling hook misses again. No, misses the dash strike. Oh yeah. Lingling still the driver of this game. Still in the driver's seat, still taking Ice on a ride to the blast zone. Nice. Reading the aggression from Ice right there and just stopping it with the, with the counter. Great trade, but Ice won't seem to benefit, benefit from it. Oh, man. Ice is really just reaching for this right now. Turn him out. Hold, hold stage. Hold stage. Now right into the stage. And forward aerial ice playing off stage again, losing a joke, losing to Arsen, and then the side beat is just to take him out. Damn, ice dropping down the losers. We need to go practice, or at least. I don't know, bro. Mainly just putting in mad work against Ice and Joker right there. It was like. Couldn't catch him. Stupid fast. Oh, I'll be playing Wild Talk? Oh, I want food. I want my grapes. Mario, how are you still in? But where are you right now? Wait, who? Who? 
<laughs> uh, please, I pray to I pray to God. I pray to God we don't have another cheese situation with you and with you and him. Oh, I know. I saw that. Damn. Hi. There we go. All right, so uh, <coughs> Salad just informed me that Mega Man's Metal Blade is not actually called Metal Blade. It's called Whoa. Flying Gear, <laughs> and I'm playing. I I'm more motivated now. Let's let's get it. let's get into it. So we're gonna have uh, Ice versus Salad. My Evan dressing. My one, boy. <coughs> this was the quarterfinal. Loser gets fifth, I, I believe. Just ducking right under it, and Ice is coming out. We get fair. Fair in there. All right, now here we go. Ice is seems so much more comfortable with the wolf. It feels Joker's like a newborn baby. Hey fam. But Salad, still playing on freaking point with this metal with the Mega Man of his. He's gotten so he's gotten so good in the past couple of years, man. I'm so happy with this. But uh, some of the toys have been good. Some of the toys have been ready with it. Ice! And this wolf right here coming against his mega is not a fun matchup for him. Anyone who can get in Mega's face and do damage with amazing frame data is just such a hard matchup. And Wolf right there catch him with the sweet spot back here. But he is slipping, he is moving, and he is getting dash attacked. And I am about to be joined Yo. by my boy Amore. Yo, the who one, had this headset on before has a big ass head. This thing, this thing it was, <laughs> was twisted to you, I think, who, who had it on. <laughs> oh, well, sorry, nah. buddy, your head's big. And big mine's, big, mine's dying too. The mic stay up. Oh my god. <laughs> my headset difficulties, Ryan. I but uh, you think the thing is a hair. Oh, it's the thing. Oh, that thing. <laughs> that doesn't go near my mouth. Okay, let's just, let's just calm down. I can hear you fine. It's okay. Alright, so uh, Ice is Wolf going up in South, South Mega Man. Uh, not going out to a hop from Salad. He really is getting caught by like, all the safe all the safe Wolf pressure. He did the, uh, the Kanji Jitsu aim tag, so like. He's got that 10 that 10 better like matchup knowledge, you know, or just like mentality thing. That's what it is. He, he the can't weave, be faulted. Weave mentality. Yes, because he's secretly Japanese. Don't you know? That was so good. Oh, broken down so. Oh. And catching him right there. No wolf can side beat to the ledge. None of them know how. And if they do, they just die. I was smash almost killing. Not yet. Yeah, Mega Man's a heavy boy, but the Sour yeah. Spot back here, you know, yeah. doesn't take any prisoners. Nope. Doesn't care. Doesn't care. It's like a sweet spot or Sour Spot. You're going to die all the same. Down it? Oh, imagine. Okay, okay, so I, I should prove me wrong. <gasps> the outer shield up smash. The that is tech, the wild good. Why is that so fast? That's so it's literally just sucked him right up into like a vacuum, son. And he keeps, he keeps power shielding the lasers. Yeah. Forcing Ice to like these lasers don't mean anything to me anymore. And the stupid safe down air. He had to read on the jump, but he threw it up instead. Oh, oh my 
Oh, spooner. He goes, he goes, he for, goes the for the tech. <laughs> the pat He's still doing it. He's still spot dodging. I know. Yo, it's the pat. It's patting. Oh, it's a fan of one to avoid the back air. That's pretty lucky, actually. Very good. That black air would have sent him black air. That back air would have sent him clean off day. Then Mario, please. Mario, please. I mean, I don't think. I think there's very few players that are gonna out like out projectile meme. Him. That's so good. Jesus Christ. It's so <laughs> good. <laughs> My little stinky leg. Like it, like it, like it, like it. Wait, what? What? What is that? Bro, he literally just did metal. <laughs> He's theory craft. He's taking this game to theory craft some uh, sick new tech. <laughs> <laughs> or he really wants Buffalo Wild Wings. Doesn't really care. He, 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 he wants Buffalo Wild Wings. That's what he said earlier. I want to get some games. He's a hungry boy. Yeah, I'm, we'll hung get I'm hungry games. too. Bro. Get some games, so. Wait. Okay, wait. This is actually way closer than we previously it's, thought. I really like thought it'll be a speed roll. It's a down air away, a metal blade conversion away. When the clean edge guard that backer was so close to taking his soul out, has new to get up this um off stage. No, he oh, went for it. Play. No, oh, he, he for bumped dog. his head on PS2. Yo, Sal, you still love the stage, bro? You still love the stage? No, uh -huh. he, I don't nah, think he, the, your love betrayed you. No, he air dodged. He didn't he bomb. He air dodged? Oh. You played yourself. Why is it when good players do shit, it's called theory crafting, but when bad players, it's called creative crafting? Because I need my squirt gun. Like a <laughs> <laughs> Wanna know why? Because they're thinking about it. They're not just going on the controller. No. No. Bad. Bad, you gotta, bad from the venue. Wait, you gotta do that squirt laugh. The f what is that? What is that supposed to be? <laughs> so we're back at PS2. Back on PS2. Uh, I mean, you just expect anything different from Sal. Back at PS2, trying to compensate this Mega Man. Snooze fast. That's the Mario. What? Mario's it's favorite sit. It's the, <laughs> it's the scoop hitbox. So it, it's taking Mega Man. I mean, I'm Mario. It's taking salad dressing. How long has this game been out? Um, uh, uh, seven months? It's taking Mario seven months. Take yeah. Mario seven months to realize that Mega Man's up smash is a little uh, wild. Peculiar, peculiarly, 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 can't even speak. Uh, I mean, bro, think, think, think. Wow, what an angle! I like Wait, that. That, that sex kick hit like Mario on the shoulder, bro. Uh, it, wolf shoulder hit the sex kick. Yeah, his whole body just said, "Yo, I'm a hitbox." And it seems like uh, whatever, like Ice's raw up smashes, like the rogue up smashes to catch jumping, is like the exact same thing Mario's trying to do with the up smashes. Indeed, except like I think Ice's work better because like it has, scoop, yeah, it has up on a wider actual range. scoop, scoop. Yeah. Oh my, his brain is huge. That would have been the six thousand IQ. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go, Mario. Now, I need to give it. I need to give Mario like a like an occupation nickname. Occupation. Nickname. Because I call Ice. Ice is like the professor. So like how he just so yeah, he's smart, figures you out, and then just pulls and then just pulls a quiz out of his ass and just wins. Jen is I, I haven't given one for Jen. Is but I call Huh? Oh yeah, what the oh that's true. Sounds like some WWE. This is so corny. I don't care. Don't do it, don't do it. Nah, I already call Ray the surgeon. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nair's coming. That Nair does everything for Wolfield. Every wolf move does everything. <laughs> yeah, not wrong. The whole character is your best friend. Wow. <laughs> just sucks. boots the crash knuckle. Crash fist. hard knuckle. Hard knuckle. You're going to Mario and Aneurysm. Oh, my God. A whole, it's still, still, it's game two, and there's still a whole lot of respect with that double spot they dodge. Both, they both know each other. They, they both, both know. If you're just spooked, or they know what each other characters can do. I know for a fact Mario's like... Like spook and aware, like what Wolf will okay. mess him up. To actually like break down that situation with the double spot dodge, it was Mario getting ready for an up tilt, and then Ice scared that his, his up tilt wasn't gonna do anything to Mario's up tilt. <laughs> so like, that's sort of an easy game now. Yeah, it's, it's really close. Oh, I like the sweet spot. The sweet spot back there is just crazy. He's kind of just cracking his skull wide open with that. She takes one good back there, one something, but. Ice is really... He's moving. He's, yeah, he's controlling the neutral so well. Oh, doesn't get the sour spot. I mean, sweet spot he wants. 
I'm just getting right out of that just in time. Oh, missed attack and it just leads to like 20%. So much damage for Ice. So much damage. And this, this lead is just climbing. This my bad. Yeah. The deficit just keeps increasing and increasing. And wow, that really killed the cross stage. Oh, misses the, cr the crash bomb on the uh, invulnerable Ice spawning from the Halo, unfortunately. That's the Mario attack right there. Ooh, starting it up. Nice. Good work, good damage. Up smash is scooping it right up. It's like any of the safe aerials, you think it's like. Even if you try to like slowly move back away, no way. Wow. Wow. We can net a dash attack? Yeah. I think that was weak hit bear bear at the dash tag. No, that was Nair. That was Nair? Mm hmm Fell down with Nair and then just dash. Nair the dash attack, right? Yeah. Oh. That's wild. <laughs> what the What the yeah, nah. That was a totally different ice from what we saw last game. When we saw last set, because last set was him versus Ling Ling, and that Joker kind of just got watched. I want to play friendly first before I go to beat ups. I want to give Maddie the hands before we go to beat ups. We'll see. T A. Oh man. Oh man, not another one. Not another one. So who is? Wait. So who is it now? Huh? You were part of the founders? Wait, who was it? it was you, Noku? Wait, I thought Shy Guy wasn't in it. Does TA stand for tits and ass? Oh. <laughs> Does it actually stand for tits and ass? What does TA stand for, chat? Yeah. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Ass and titties. That's what TA stands for. Huh? My name is Axel. I know Noku's out. My name is Axel. I like to listen okay, to well, my music know. while I jewel mid set. Sometimes when I'm not dueling, I like to play Ridley, Donkey Kong, Bowser. I really like my heavies. Speaking of Donkey Kong, we have C playing Donkey Kong. Um, C was inspired by me, Zaxel. He was inspired by me, Zaxel. I think we must. <laughs> I've been doing a weird Zaxel. Wait, what in the world? Ralphie playing Pokemon Banner? What, what is this? Where'd this come from? The Squirtle Man. Or an Ivy Man? I don't know. This character just broken. Absolutely I feel like this matchup is abysmal for Donkey Kong. It's so bad. Especially because like Squirtle just outframed it as you and just gets in your face, and then as soon as you try to recover with uh, Ivy Star, you're getting, you're yeah. getting two framed. And then Charizard not even like, two framed. It's like before you can even grab yeah, the ledge. It's like yeah. clouds there, but down clouds up air, but downwards. Uh, this is probably just such a wow. That DI was a little sus, but he still survives and gets through the uh, upbeat. That was a crazy air dodge. Ah, uh, no. I, oh my god. Oh my god that's, that, that seems like it's probably free for so long. C so is a brave scary. man for like sticking this one out. Indeed. I mean, he's done it He's done it before. I've seen him like give Noku to hands with um, I give Noku to trainer. He's definitely like staying alive. <laughs> the evasion's pretty Big spot boy. on. Oh, so lucky for Ralphie that right, he armored through the Razor Leaf. Oh, the Razor Leaf clanked with the armor, rather. That's the movement. Tell the cancel. I, can I completely missed it. He tells the cancel to Zuffy, and he just like stayed in the air with it. I right, get a double Ivysaur disadvantage. Is not, is not strong at all. Some old dude out there made like a couple hundred bucks to voice this character, and he was just like, Ivy! <laughs> Either some old dude or some like jock at the gym. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I'm a screen. I dash attack the up air. What a 6%. Oh, and he's dead. Oh my goodness gracious. Woo! Nice break. Oh wow. my god, that would have killed this Yo, He's pressing right. buttons, but he's getting away with it. He's pressing Whoa. on, he's pressing on the right that? button. I hear the mix. That was awesome. That's I love Donkey Kong. Oh, he's sick. <laughs> so many memes. He's sick, yo. Nice. And up air. Wait, so this is a complete 180. Mm-hmm. Okay, now it's like, now it's hard to Nope. Probably should just help Sage and go right through there. We're going to see if Ralphie actually gets this down air we've been speaking so much about. He hasn't gotten it yet, but... Mm -hmm. That's because he doesn't make Pokemon trainer. Yeah, I guess we can expect a switch. Unless he's really trying to make this character work for the long run. 
but I don't know. Maybe it's like maybe it's trying to be a pocket with it, wow, but it's definitely nowhere as nowhere as clean as Wolf. No backer coming out there. That's weird. But he didn't, I think he was, he was really fishing for the up air, but he didn't backer instead. And he got hit for it. Well, I was really expecting back air. No way, too. Yeah. Wow. Dummy strong. Dummy fish. trying to call me. Why dummy, dummy. dummy. I'm dying. Encore. I, I'm in danger. Yeah, wait, you're here? You're here? I'm on Dad? The I'm on the commentary's house. Dad. Wait, Carter, oh, where are you? Donkey oh. Kong. <laughs> <laughs> Donkey Kong. Wait. Whoa. Wait, Justin, did Justin enter or no? My boy is nice, bro. Go. All right, I'll be with you in a bit. I'm just down with the dots. I'll be with you in a bit. Oh yeah, are you gonna be on uh, Borderlands later tonight? Yeah. I bet. Oh. Huh? All right, so boom. Uh, now we're gonna count the game. Uh, oh my god, that frame drop is nuts. Actually, no, it's not. It's not even a frame drop. It's just like I don't think it's true. It's like not true, and then it's just like air dodge. I don't know. And there's the mix of he was not ready for it at all. Is, that's why C is so good. It's like he just grabs you, and then what's you end up off stage? You gotta know. You gotta know if you got a mash or you got a tech. I don't know. And everyone here sucks at matching. Oh, so you did switch. Okay. Yeah, I knew the switch was coming. You see he's still on this first dog. Grab up. Oh, good damage coming off. That, that's a lot of free damage. Oh my god, the reversal. And the back here coming out for good measure, too. Yo, see is in this man's head. Oof. Wow. Still he was at living. 173 before the hit survived. Against the wolf. Heads are going. Dash attack killing him. 200.4. Dies to the dash attack. Bonkers. Not to the anywhere. Off the top. Of all places. Whoa. Whoa. Cool. So you did not tell me that you were a Chad. You, you get the uh, uh, cargo throw. I'll throw. Uh, I'll bear for so long. Mm -hmm. It's great. It just doesn't kill as much as used to. Wow. He okay. So I can see Ralphie from where I am. He moved his hand to mash faster and was still able to tag. Yeah. Ralphie's OD, but wow. C is kind of not That was. I think. He, and considering how bad, like, see how he just completely turned his whole game around from the yeah, beginning of game that, one. That, that first stock was data, bro. Oh my god. That was data. All data. Okay, I want to play because I want to believe it. Okay, come bye, on. Ryan. All right, Ryan. You're not gonna have to come to the grand. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry.
Cena.
Battle. Donkey Kong.
We've done it!
Bravo. Shit! <laughs> 